Welcome to OMC Medical's Regulatory Services presentation on navigating regulatory compliance and seizing opportunities in Japan. Japan is a complex and dynamic market with a unique regulatory landscape. But for those who are willing to put in the time and effort, it can also be a very rewarding one. In this presentation, I'll provide you with a roadmap for understanding the regulatory environment in Japan and identifying the potential opportunities that exist there. Let's get started. Now I'm going to talk to you about the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency, PMDA. It is a Japanese regulatory agency that collaborates with the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare to ensure public health by ensuring safety, efficacy and quality of pharmaceuticals and medical devices. The PMDA has a wide range of responsibilities, including consultations on clinical trials, regulatory review of drugs, medical devices, regenerative medical products, Compliance assessments, GMP, QMS, GCTP inspections, standards development for registered certification bodies. The PMDA also provides a number of key services, such as accepting labeling information, collecting post-marketing safety data from manufacturers or medical institutions, conducting scientific research, providing consultation services on safety measures, providing information on drugs and medical devices. The PMDA's work is essential to ensuring the safety and efficacy of pharmaceuticals and medical devices in Japan. Let's now discuss about medical device classification in Japan. Medical devices in Japan are classified according to their risk level, which is determined by a number of factors, including the type of device, the purpose of the device, and the safety of the device. There are four main classes of medical devices in Japan. Class 1. General Medical Devices which are the lowest risk devices. These devices are typically used for non-invasive procedures and pose little risk to patients. Examples of class one devices include x-ray, film, scalpels, and certain in vitro diagnostic devices. Class two, controlled medical devices, which are higher risk than class one devices, but still relatively low risk. These devices are often used for invasive procedures or for monitoring patients' health. Examples of class 2 devices include digestive catheters, electronic endoscopes, dental alloys. Class 3. Special controlled medical devices, which are higher risk than class 2 devices. These devices are typically used for life-saving procedures or for implanting in the body. Examples of class 3 devices include dialyzers, hemodialysis equipment, and mechanical ventilation apparatuses. Class 4. High-risk medical devices, which are the highest risk devices. These devices are typically used for life-saving procedures or for implanting in the body and pose a significant risk to patients. Examples of class 4 devices include artificial cardiac valves, pacemakers, and stent grafts. The classification of a medical device determines the level of regulatory oversight that is required before it can be placed on the market in Japan.